It, it explains that Congress has the power to enforce the insurrectionist ban. And we've heard the arguments from some on Trump's side that say that this portion means that a decision on whether Trump should be on the primary ballot or not shouldn't be made by the states. What do you make of that argument? I don't think that argument holds water. Essentially, what the provision provides is that they can remove the disability by a two-thirds vote from each House of Congress. That's all it says. Other than that, this is just a regular qualification for an individual to run for president of the United States, just like being 35 years old, uh, having been born in the United States, and having lived and resided in the United States for at least 14 years. Uh, it is really no different than that, except in this situation, there is a circumstance where Congress could remove that disability by those two-thirds votes. Why? It says there, and it says earlier in the third section, that Congress can, by the two-thirds vote, basically not enforce this. That Section 5 part says Congress shall have the power to enforce. Uh, you know, Congress also shall have the power not to enforce, is what Section 3 says. Why does it, Section 5, make it a little confusing here? Congress shall have the power to enforce, when now what we're seeing is you have secretaries of state, you have state courts also using the power to enforce. Why is that okay in your view of how you read the Constitution here? Well, I think ultimately the only arbiter here really is the United States Supreme Court. Uh, they're the ones that have to enforce this. Uh, otherwise, you're getting yourself into a situation with 50 jurisdictions, 50 states, uh, who are going to come at this in different ways. Uh, the bottom line is, Anytime you've got a qualification to be president, whether the person's 35, whether they were born in the U.S., this is something that has to be decided ultimately by the U.S. Supreme Court, or you're going to get 50 different decisions, or you're going to get some states that can't make decisions uh, because they have technicalities in their laws that don't permit them to make those decisions. Another one of the arguments that